In this video, you'll be learning about this topic. You had mentioned earlier that Peter uh, Woolley, with his update for SegWit, this is the 2017 timeframe. For people that don't understand what that update was, this was really to allow Bitcoin to uh, scale. This update mm -hmm. was massive in the 2017 timeframe. How did people... How, so when you make this update and you put it out there, how do you get all the full node operators to adopt it? Like the network effect of running the code that already exists versus an update seems to me like it would be such a hard hurdle or such a hard sell for people to mm -hmm. update. So talk us through what what that's like. Is it hard? Is it easy in some respects? Like just kind of give us some inside information on how that process goes down. One of the things about Bitcoin that's, I think, more or less unique among all of the other altcoins and so on is that it's always backwards compatible. So you don't have to upgrade if you don't want to. It'll run just fine. That was true of SegWit, as was every other update, more or less. It didn't require, quote unquote, a hard fork, which would be a backwards incompatible. So because it's a backwards compatible, no one forces anyone to upgrade. But if you do upgrade, you get all these benefits. For example, you have, uh, you know, one of the things that SegWit fixed was transaction malleability. If you, um, you can now do SegWit transactions using an upgraded node, which don't allow transaction malleability. And if you don't have transaction malleability, well, now you can open lightning channels much easier. And that, that means that you can use it for a lightning wallet and so on. So, there are all these benefits. Uh, if you want to use them, then you have to go and get the upgrade. But you can run software from 2014 if you want to, and it'll still work on the network. But you know, if, if you want these new features, it, it sort of like gives you uh, a natural incentive to go do it. Jimmy, I'm, I'm sure you don't know the exact number off the top of your head. I'm curious how many people are still running some of the older versions? Like, So when you look at the, the latest version that's out, what percentage of the full node operators are running that versus the version before or the version before that? I think Jameson Lap has uh, Statoshi.info or something like that. And you can, you can go look at you know, what clients people are running and they, they, you can query the network. They can lie to you, but there's no real reason to. Um, and you, you can find out what client they're running. And it might be, uh, most of them are running Bitcoin Core, I think something like 90% or some version of Bitcoin Core, but others are running BTCD or Bitcoin or some of these other clients. And you can find out exactly the split. That's something that you can go and find out at any point. Of course, not every node is sort of like broadcasting or connectable or, or what Luke Dash Jr. calls reachable. So it's possible that those statistics aren't exactly accurate, but at least you can get a good idea of who's running previous versions. But, uh, but generally, like, um, I, what I've noticed is that node operators, or if you're running your own node, generally what people will do is they won't upgrade until, I don't know, six months after its release. And a lot of car buyers are the same way. They won't buy the newest year model if they just changed everything. They'll buy the year after because they'll you know, fix all of the things that they didn't think of or whatever. That's, that's a perfectly legitimate way to go, especially when you're talking about other people's money. Different people have different risk profiles, but that's, that's the beauty of it is that you don't have to upgrade if you don't want to, but there are benefits to upgrading, so many people do. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on the next podcast episode and new investing resources. What are your takeaways and thoughts on this discussion? Let us know in the comments section below.